guys welcome back again to the channel now today we want to start building all right our application so we have an application here that we have tested already all right we've tested the application already i mean it's running already on our local machine right so if i go here into the folder and i do npm start for example all right so the application would start on my local machine and i can actually go all right here and then I can do local host 3000. And then here I can see, all right, that my application is actually running locally. Okay. Now, this application is what we want to build and we want to learn, all right, using this particular, all right, application that you see right here. And it's just a simple Node.js application. Okay. So let's take a look at how we can actually start building, all right, this application using GitLab CI CD. Now, I'm going to clear out, you know, everything that we have here. So we've tested with all of these things. So I'm going to just, you know, basically just delete everything. Okay, so let's start from, you know, from here. All right. So now, of course, we can leave our stages right here. I mean, we can just leave those ones. Now, basically, let's run some tests. Okay, because this application also, we've configured some kind of test. All right, for this our application as well. All right, I mean, we want to test the application to see, you know, if this application will run, if there's an issue and things like that, right? Now, if I stop this application and I come here to say NPM test, all right, so basically I just want to test if my application actually, you know, meets some kind of specific, you know, test basically, all right? So if I look at what I have here, it tells me that, um, you know, there's a kind of failure here, all right? So now, in this particular test that we configured, we basically, you know, basically just run, you know, three tests, actually. Uh, the first one basically says that, you know, index.html must be present, which we have here. The second one says Docker file must exist, must be available in our folder. But of course, we don't have any Docker file, all right, just yet. And the last one here says that .gitignore file must exist, all right, and that also is right here as well. Okay, so basically the test failed because I mean these conditions, all right, are not met. And that is exactly what you do in a work environment. I mean, when you write an application, you have to, all right, write some test cases that you will use to test your application, you know, if certain functions are working as expected. Right now, if those functions are not working as expected, you can also you can catch all of that, you know, by running a test. So the test tells you that, oh, your application is missing certain parameters and things like that. But of course, these are things that our programmers all right, will work on. It uh, is their duty basically to, you know, write all of these tests, basically just to test the functionality of the application before the application all right, is deployed, actually. OK, so here what I'm going to do here is, of course, we would write um a docker file i mean if you go to the app session and then you come here uh all right to the server test basically right so you will see here that we specify just some simple kind of test right so if you come here we specify here all right that you know the file path all right is basically the directory all right dot dot basically i mean the te the docker file should be outside all right of the app folder right so if this docker if anything like this is not available then the error all right will occur so basically what we want to do is let's create a docker file right even though we don't have anything there all right so let's just create a docker file outside here all right and then i mean we don't have to have anything inside right so let's come back here and let's run the test again and let's see if the test will pass this time around so let's do the test and let's see now you can see that that the test passed this time around because i mean docker file now exists now we're not bothered about whether the docker file contains anything or it doesn't contain anything what we are concerned about is that the docker file must be present in that particular location okay now let's put this all right into our pipeline configuration and let's see how we can run these as well now when you have an application that you're using of course, the first thing you want to do, like I said, is to test your application if, you know, your application, all the functions and everything that needs to work, all right, is actually working as expected. So the first thing you do before you build up your application into a Docker image, all right, is to test the functionality, all right, of your application. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So here I'm going to say run unit underscore test, all right? So that's the first job I want to run. And don't forget this app, this, um, you know, this application is actually a Node.js application. So I want to use my Docker executor image. I'm going to have to overwrite that as well, right? So I'm going to come here and I'm going to say I'm using Node, 
all right now you can put a load load latest basically i mean it doesn't matter here but of course in a work environment you want to use the actual all right node image that was used all right to be this application basically you can just go here and then say well let's use um where is that so i'm just going to copy this one that i used earlier so i'm going to come here and i'm going to say all right use this particular image all right so that's the image you want to use and then here i'll put a tag basically where do i want to run my job so i want to run my job on my uh, docker all right runner okay so that's what i want to do now here i will specify a before script okay because basically what i want to do is that i will have to change directory okay to my folder which is here so my folder is called app so i need to change directory here because i mean this application is actually in a folder all right uh, so basically, we need to navigate into that folder in order for us to be able to run the npm install all right command. So the npm install command is going to you know download you know all of these things that we have here. So the node modules will be downloaded. The package log.json will also be generated as well. So these are the things we want to do before the script before we run all right any kind of test. So the script mainly now will now be all right npm okay test. Is that okay? So we are changing directory, and that's the, that's exactly what we did here. So you can see that we changed directory to the app folder, right? Even on our local machine, and then it was inside of that directory that we actually, you know, installed. So we did npm install, and then we also did npm test, basically. So that's exactly what we are also replicating right here. All right. So now I'm gonna go here. All right. So I'm gonna clear my screen. So let's do git add. All right. So git commit. Okay, and then let's see here. All right, unit tests added. All right, in the pipeline. Oops, what's that? Uh, git commit I think M unit test added in the pipeline. Okay, so what's that? Uh, okay, so it's giving us an error. So what's the error here? Uh, Docker file. Okay, we've added the Docker file already. So git commit I think M. That's the correct thing. So where is the error coming from? Okay, so let's do git status. Okay. Okay. All right. So where is the error coming from okay so let me see again so git add okay so let's do git status okay branch is up to date okay um i'm trying to figure out guys what the error can be okay so let me just say something here like um tests Added. I mean, just to put something and let's see what happens. Okay, so now it is gone. All right. Okay, so now if I do git status, let's see. All right. Now, this is not been added yet. I mean, because maybe because it's saying there's an error here. So let's just put something. All right, right here. So we can just say from. All right, from node. Uh, I think that node is 22 point something, right? So let's just put that. I mean, just something to put there. Okay, we're still going to write the Docker file later on. Okay, so let me do git add now. Let's see. Okay, so git status. All right, so it's still seeing this. All right, as not, you know, it's not including it just yet. Right, so what could be the issue? I mean, if I look at my git ignore i don't think i ignored anything like you know um docker file right so let's take a look so let's come here so i'm gonna go come here to commit all right so let me see what if this will do anything so let me use that instead of the command um docker file add it all right so let's accept the change here okay all right so that has been added so i mean if i come here now it's added now okay so maybe it was just trying to be funny so if i did get status let's see what we have all right so it's no longer there so let's do git push now 
Okay, so now it's going. Okay, so now that means I have to go through here, but really I don't know what ha actually happened with that, but of course it's part of it's part of learning. So let's go back to the pipeline. All right, let's see. Okay, so the pipeline is was triggered, uh, is triggered already. So let's see if this will go through all right this time around. So we're running some unit testing. Okay, so that means the npm install command would run, all right, and then after that, all right, some tests will be carried out, all right, on our application. So let's see. Uh, what will happen with that? Okay, uh, that shouldn't take time. All right. I mean, we're running on our own as a key. We're running on our. We're, we're using our own runner basically. So you can see that I didn't take you know much time. All right, at all. So the job passed um, already. Okay. So if I click here, I would see um, a little information. So if you come here, you can see that you used the Note 22 or an image. That's the first thing you need to see. And then you have your npm install right here, which of course installed correctly. Okay, and then you can see all right all of these things uh, right here. And of course, you can see that no vulnerabilities was found. And then the test also was carried out, which basically means you know all the three files were actually present, and then everything ran successfully. Okay, so that is basically the first step. Okay, to building um, you know your uh, application into a docker image right so you have to test your application and find out that you know if everything is actually you know fine before you go ahead all right and build your application so this is the first thing that we need to do so the next thing we're going to do now is basically to go all right and do some you know because, I mean, if you look at this test that we ran, okay, some things were actually generated, right? So if you come here to your GitLab session, for example, all right, you would see, you know, some unit tests, all right? You know, some um, J unit tests and things like that was actually um, generated. I mean, if you look at it here on my own system, if I click here, I can see some J unit tests, you know, generated right here, okay? So these are some kind of reports. Okay, that you can also see. I mean, if you go to the pipeline as well, all right, you should find uh, things like that there also. Okay, so if you come here, you can see that all right, no artifact was found because I mean we didn't store all of those um, things there. Okay, so but then if you click on this, you should find you know some kind of information. All right, as regarding that, you can see the report here. So the report says just I think JUnit, and that will generate what you call all right a JUnit.xml file. All right, more like a report. But of course, we didn't ask you know GitLab to store that for us. So in the next video, we're going to see how we can actually store that report and then see how you can access it or download it as an artifact, and then you know you can pull that or import that into some visualization application as well is that okay so thank you so much all right in the next video we'll see how we can do that and of course we go into how to build all right and push our image all right into the docker repository basically so that's the next stage all right that we're going into